Let me have a conversation about my blackness for a second. In an election year, and also when you have circumstances that Ime Udoka put himself in, circumstances that you have Kyrie Irving put himself in. I've literally seen people trying to politicize the messengers, and I'm one of those people. And let me just say this out loud, it's very important. I did more for this culture before 9 a.m. today than most people gonna do in their lifetime. Just because I don't think Kyrie should be Darrell in the next season, just because I don't believe that the lady's name should be exposed based on the fact that the power dynamics are at play and it's more to the e situation than most of you guys know. If I'm not trumpeting what is low-hanging fruit, that don't make me a sellout. And by the way, I was with, with, with the great Sir Charles Barkley last night. And we had a two-hour conversation about this. Two-hour conversation about this in person. Had a two-hour conversation with Charles Barkley about this. Just because I don't agree, agree with Kanye or Kyrie, that don't mean that I'm cooning for the man. That means that I don't believe what he's doing is right. That's a fact. And so it's important for people that look like me, Jacoby, in particular, to not politicize what's happening with Kyrie and Ime and Kanye and shoot the messenger. I ain't gonna always ride with somebody just cause they black. If I think you wrong, I don't care what color you are. That's just being real. I ain't about to be following behind nobody that I think is wrong. And let me tell y'all something else. What he doing ain't an act of civil rights. He's not being oppressed. He ain't being oppressed. He get $40 million to play basketball this year. He ain't being oppressed. So I just, I just had to say that. And woosah. Because this podcast is therapy for me.